That cannon, that's going to be enough to force NIP back and Silent just trying to assert his dominance in the lane, but Eric comes back, stacking oh up these God. spears and the three oh, stacks on him. Silent's going to take a fair bit of damage. Eric, he, he just does not care. He's standing oh, there going he needs to be careful. careful. But the brain slap and Aloha Dance finding the right click. Tension from one of the cores didn't really work out that well for Nip, so... Jonas might be in trouble here. Thank you, he gets my list. Oh, if he gets a hook shot, then oh, takes the track God. off. Yeah. Oh, he's dead, though. No, he pops the cool. Is coming in? There's gonna be TPs, maybe he lives. He's not going for it. He didn't go... Fly, he might go down there. There's a huge wraparound from the rest of the side of NIP, but very nicely done there to hold back the axe and find the kill onto Undying at least before he goes down. Yeah, at the same time, uh, Oscar was jumped the back. Now they're going to sign up as well. Yeah. These are two huge kills there. They might Even find more. A triple kill. Yeah, Yoku will be able to bring down the Io. Can oh. Era finish off this clockwork? He's toggling like yeah, a madman. He's dead. He's dead. And he has triple kill for Era. That's Damn spheres. And that's 2000. Uh, line up and what they can do, like yeah. being fortified. out of position like that, going under Dyer's the tier 1 tower, tower. It's like, the clock was here for some reason as well, but he didn't go on them when they really it in either, so. How does the damage reduction Dyer's from Overcharge and Husker's passive work? Yeah, he's, they don't know he's here. This is going to be perfect if they can get oh. a dream, Kyle. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, there he goes. He's appears from the tree line with the tombstone. And they're going to try and fight it. Oh, Jonas might make a very, very nice call. The dream call as well. It's a double kill for Axe. Couldn't get silent as well. Oh, Error comes in. They will. It's a triple kill for Jonas and Van. Yoku trying to bring down Axe as he tries to run away. Oh, oh the, the life healing thingamajiggy from Error keeps him alive. And it's the four for two trade there for Axe. But he doesn't care about that. He's got Io tethering him up. The static storm will get dropped, but Eris just turning around and hitting them all. Yosef yeah, out with the spins really with the calls. Yoku, oh, he's falling down low. There's going to be a leap forward onto Silent from Era. They're just not killing Era. We now have Fiends grip onto him, but he gets so wrecked up. It doesn't matter if you're holding him in place because he's just not dying. Silent's found himself to what? A ultra kill suddenly in the. manages to get a blink dagger. It's going to be very similar to what we saw in game one, where those heroes are very important. Always want to fly. He's going to get caught out here in the kinetic field. There's going to be a lift on Terra trying to hold him back to protect this AA. They're going on the hand scan. Hand scan will be able to bring down AA first. The fade bolt does finish off disruptors and one. Interesting kind of commitment because you, you global to make sure that you can get the initial kill, but you're only using the global kill. Oh, he's got a haste rune again, and this time he, he will try to use it for the kill. The damage from Yoku for a bit, and the oh, TP coming. Where's your spins? Oh, oh. that was close. Yeah, Yoku's going to be. Yeah. Turn around and get a kill onto hand scan, but oh. he's not going to be able to do it. They've got the burst damage oh to bring God. him down. And Jonas and Fan again on this axe, making the plays happen here today for the side of NIP. Yeah, since the landing phase is broken down. They might get more oh, Aloha dance. He yeah. Orbs away. Breaks the coil though. He has a lift. He has a lift. Cool onto him. It looks like they'll leave that for just Aaron Jonas and Fan. The rest of the side of NIP, they're looking for more around Aloha this dance. tier one here. They're going to try and find a low hard dance here indeed. They've thrown down the static storm to try and disrupt the entire fight. They've found the A and the Silent Marana. Now they're going to find a low hard dance on the Rubik as well for double kill for the Ogre Mag. Almost. These are some big kills for Silent to be involved yeah. in. Always gonna fly as well. He's almost. Oh. He's yeah, he's gonna get his bottom though. There's a Jonas and Fan. The Faith Bolt finishes off Jonas and Fan. Yoko does pay with his life. Low Dance lifting up hand scan. Will glimpse back the bristle back. It won't be enough as a low heart dance stands there. Finishes off the kill. Double kill. Didn't this axe have quite a bit more farm earlier? Yeah. I thought he would actually have a blank dagger by yeah. now. Glimpse. Yeah, you know, they're gonna find resolution here and uh, resolution will get dunked here by Jonas and Fan. Can NAP look for anything more? That's yeah. the Question. Eris got the Omni Slash onto Low Heart Dance. Double and boy, you just want to die. Bring them very low there with the dunk as well. NIP just coming out on top of Empire. 17 to 13 at the moment between these two sides. And when you look at the lineups with the Juggernaut, that's surely at the end of the day, that's always going to be stronger toe to toe against the Murana in the late game. Well, I think the Juggernaut kind of struggles actually against Murana only okay. because it's very hard to get a good. Late because they've already lost two heroes on the side of Empire. And nothing essentially being achieved with that play from Empire because they might, they're going to lose more now potentially. Kinetic Field will trap Yoku. In comes your Omni Slash and Resolution actually moving closer to Yoku, bringing Era in for the kill. Era finds the kill there. Look at the crits. One, two, three. Bringing down AA. 